today on the Celestial War. Ronnie asked, where, what about Jacques? No one knows where Jacques is. Where is Jacques? Um, yeah. Where is Jacques? That's, Can we ask? That's shocking. You can, you can ask. Who are we asking? I'm asking you. <laughs> I can't tell you. You don't know. <laughs> I'm not in there. I'm not there, Brooke. I'm not in the so, game. All right, so I'm asking Botorius. I asked Botorius. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, You're asking Jamie and Squirrel? Go ahead. You're asking Jamie and Squirrel to remember. Squirrel to remember something that's happening in the game? <laughs> Good evening, everybody. As I turn off my TV, what's going on? I'm Tony Hansen. This is Audio Dungeon, and I'm joined with the rest of the Audio Dungeon crew, Ross Pitaro, Dan Isgro, Damian Scro, hey. Hulk Armstrong, Vinny Pro, Tom Kakosa, and this week's special guest once again, Steve Krause. How's it going, everybody? Uh, very excited so, uh, to be here. Once again, once again uh, this is another episode uh, during the quarantine. Uh, so if, right now we're at the apex of it. Hopefully it's going to get better and better. Uh, I'm excited to get back to uh, to normal life and uh, back into the studio. Uh, but in the meantime, we're having a good time here on uh, on the uh, the virtual audio dungeon this we're doing, and uh, joined by Steve. Uh, so it's Evandale on Twitch uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Evandale E B I N D A L E live on Tuesdays, Mondays, and sometimes Wednesdays, except when I'm on Audio Dungeon. And uh, and again, thank you guys so much for this opportunity. So um, this is a lot of fun. Oh, we love having you, man. Thank you so much. Um, here is the dungeon. You'll see it on my screen. Uh, that is the dungeon that, that uh, you guys have been fighting in. Um, the dungeon being the lair is underneath the um, necromancer's uh, temple. Um, the group flew down there and pulled by gravity. And you guys um, on the crew, I'll, I'll kind of just check with you on this. If you guys recognize, you know where you are in relationship to the core and the outer world. Mm. <laughs> is that a no? Is that uh, a no right here? <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're down. No. <laughs> we, we've got to be close. So if you to have, the, uh, the, we got to be close to the border between the le the outer the outermost level of hell and. The plane that we uh, are, are are familiar with, where um, I'm forgetting the name of the flowers, but the black uh, no, 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 grow, the black rose, things of that nature. Black rose. Black rose. Yeah, I was like tulip. No, dahlia. Definitely not. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I think we're I think we're very close to that border. That's my my character's understanding, at least. Right. So when you guys when you guys uh, flew flew down, I I remarked to you that it felt a lot like that other time when you crossed over between Elion Daris, the Drow Kingdom, and down into uh, the core. You guys are pretty much right there, where uh, gravity and the air and everything feels kind of uh, different and in like a weird a weird shift. So you're you're either in the middle of it between or right there or somewhere. That part's unknown, but you're definitely close. Where we last left off. I think we're gonna go right to it, right? I think we're gonna go right to it and go right to yeah, um, this little light finger burr and his rod, and is it's one of ten thousand things that can happen. I got, I got so it. I'm excited <laughs> to see what's gonna happen. Oh man, I'm so afraid. I'm excited to. I got that dark word to use. Already. So okay. just as a reminder, I have no freaking armor. Is this? Is there an extra suit <laughs> that anyone has in like uh, a somewhere? Um, duck I'm and fighting cover. in my skivvies. Duck, dip, duck, dive, dance, <laughs> and duck. <Okay. laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Sounds right need to me. Dodge a wrench. Dodge, yeah, dip. You can dodge a necromancer. <laughs> uh, here's a question. Before you make this roll, Tony, can we use a reroll on the 10,000 D10,000 roll? That's a good question. <gasps> yes. If, if you if you roll like quest oh, is over, can, uh, <laughs> can we ask for a reroll? Go. And yes, you have up to you have up to two rerolls, and you can use it for anything. So that you could definitely use it for that. Just remember, it could be worse. 
<laughs> yes. It could always be worse. Yeah, that's true. It could be worse. That is Guys, true. let's let's see, let's see get let's see uh, your, your reactions right now. Give me an emoji to tell your your reaction and your feelings for this epic 1D 10,000 roll that is about to take place. Uh, give me give me some likes, loves, and emojis. Um, Thistle, let's do it. Where's the poop paint emoji? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, 1986. 1986. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good year. Good year. Top Gun. The Mets. Mets. Baby, the Mets, the New York Mets. 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 Yeah, Three. Top Gun. <laughs> Top Gun. <laughs> Rob, that's what you should have had up Not a Mets fan. 86. <laughs> 86 Mets. Come on. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay. Nice. Give it to me. Come on. Let's do it. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what happens. Um, you land. You and Tom both land on the the uh, the heart. The giant, uh, throbbing, disgusting, uh, gross heart. I wrote on zombies. And two episodes. This is nothing. <laughs> yeah. You land on it. You slam slam the, the rod onto onto the heart, and. Um, what happens is all of a sudden you feel some kind of um, feeling in your mouth. Now you do have a re you do have rerolls. You know you can. So if you want to reroll, you could. You could, but maybe you don't want to reroll. Um, what happens is, Thistle, your eye teeth grow into tusks like those of a walrus. Oh, I'm definitely rerolling that. <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's so, cool. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Is, Wait, how big are they? They're huge. <laughs> the is it ever like a walrus? Yeah. Is so it yeah, it would be like here, I guess at least. So you land on the ground. It's in flux. While it's in flux, you, that happens. That stays, or you reroll. No, I'm rerolling that. <laughs> That's you're awesome. You're a fool, that Rodano. Cool. You're a fool. Tusk. It is awesome. <laughs> you're a fool. Yeah, tusks if it wasn't, are pretty cool. If I needed this, for <laughs> <laughs> like if I, I mean, needed, have... if I needed. Like if this was We'd have to like redo gonna... all your character art and everything. Yeah, and how you <laughs> have to get it. I totally get it. And I would totally Imagine how many cans you could open. Nobody's dry cuckoo cachoo yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Nice. All nice. right. For better or worse, the number is 5,338. I am the okay. <laughs> Coo -coo -coo -choo. Yeah. Okay, and Tusk Finn, Rod I can't. Red. Finn, I can't take it back. Once I tell you what the next one is, you'll never have tusks again. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, not not in Andaria anyway. <laughs> Maybe in real life. Yeah, yeah. sure. You know, it's 2020. <laughs> Things could be done. <laughs> so 5,280 or 380? 5,338. Oh, okay. I was not even right at all. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Okay, Maybe Target can see. Face. Turn it face. Face. I can't. So, Target, Target can see secret doors if he sacrifices 1d6 hit points. So, I, I wasn't going to tell you because it seemed like almost something that you, it just happened to you wouldn't know, but you have the choice of sacrificing, so you have to know. So, you realize that if you just give, give some of your life force. You'll have the ability to see secret doors forever. I you, yes. You have six seconds to decide. Yes. <laughs> or or you could you could try to re-roll and try to do something that actually destroys the heart into something more important. Yeah, seriously. Your... <laughs> no, because it could be much worse, like growing tusks six. again. No. Five. Secret door to your death. Four. No, I'm taking it. Three. I want, it. I want the secret door. Two. Just. Just, just give me your time. I, I want the secret door. Door. I let, I'm, I'm I letting you choose. To, okay. The secret doors. <laughs> okay, you can see secret doors. That that is what happens. I I was thinking about this all week. What was gonna happen? I mean, you could just swing again and, and do something else. Yeah, that's that's right. the fun of this game. Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Do that. I mean, you know, exactly. Without wasting a reroll. This is. This is exactly what this carrot needs to be able to see secret doors at any given time <laughs> <laughs> great yeah, yeah. come on we're like i'm glad i'm glad scrolling get that because that would be asking me 
Every every moment. Do I see that? Do I see that? Is there a secret door? Tony, is there a secret door? How about now? Come on, How is there a secret now? door? Come on. <laughs> How about now, Tony? Do I see it now? <laughs> <laughs> you get closer to the camera, scroll. Tony, I see in the dark. I see this. That'll help. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna so we're gonna take a. a we have a cyborg mechanical eye that can make him see hidden doors. Oh, <laughs> mechanical eye! Like <laughs> that's the most amazing and worst thing ever, Dad. Am I? This is this is per permanent. Six hit points, permanent, right? One d six hit points. Yes. We're gonna go over to uh, everyone who's fighting the necromancer right now, <laughs> and um, you guys are right in battle. So just continue. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody's attacking. You can make your rolls, uh, and uh, as you as you roll, I will uh, describe what's happening. So this is Hogar, Botorius, and Reed. <laughs> Got it. Uh, any initiative? Uh, no, or uh, uh, you don't do, at the same time. You you don't do initiative right now. Got it. Okay. Sh sh shares. Where are we with shares? Oh, yes, guys, please share the stream out. If we get to 50 shares, they get a plus one on all their rolls. If they get to 100, they get plus two. Guys, the shares really help out a lot, so definitely please uh, get them up there. Um, it, someone on staff, if you can please let me know how many shares we got going here. 18. I don't know if I can... 18? Oh, yeah. Die. yeah, you guys need a lot more shares to get it going. Also, okay, um, uh, active uh, enchantments, Red Knight's Ingenuity, is that correct? Oh, yeah, so... Uh, Thank you to Evan for uh, giving uh, but one, uh, donating one enchantment today, uh, Thank and you, Evan. that Thanks, Evan. that enchantment was was to be chosen by the Audio Dungeon crew, and you guys did choose Red, Red Knight's Ingenuity, which gives you guys advantage on all of your attack rolls. Uh, yes. Oh, up to twenty-seven Thank shares you. right now, guys. Twenty-seven shares. Um, on, so yeah, guys. you guys chose, chose that one. That's a, that's a good choice. You guys do not have any other enchantments on. If somebody wants to donate enchantment today, then it will go on. But as of right now, it's just that one. You guys, uh, it looks like. It looks like uh, um, Lump has a lot of rerolls left, and you guys in a totem have about 14 rerolls left. So you have um, a bunch of stuff. What, ones uh, asking for a friend are ones 20s <laughs> again or no? No. Mm. Okay. Wait a second. What? <laughs> Steve, well, are you the friend? I'm, are you the I friend, friend, Steve? <laughs> for, for hit number three, I will be. <laughs> Not for the first two, though. Um, okay, so whoever is did your attacks? Uh, his his armor class is twenty eight, and he's moving. He's, he's actually shifting around very, very, very quickly. Um, it's a very vicious uh, and fast uh, attack. Um, who who's finished it and wants to go first? Well, sure, uh, I, I can will. go either way. You go. You go. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Um, I had two hits. The second one. Natural 20, critical. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. Natural 20 by Spro. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. in 20. It was. <laughs> First one is 14 damage. <clears throat> and oh, is that, is, that a, is, is, that, is that a quarantine 20? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real 20. Uh, oh, it's a real 20. Okay. <clears throat> uh, second one is. Give me one sec. Uh, 25 damage. 25 damage, okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Hogar or Reed? I got, uh, Hogar has two hits. One was a Quarren 20, and one was a Quarren 19. <laughs> It'd be funny right. if you were like, one's a Quarren 20, and one's a regular 20. <laughs> I'll, uh, what was the damage? I'll, 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 I'm gonna roll it now. You can uh, move on to someone else's attacks. Okay, read. What'd you, what'd you do? Oh, swang. I, I swang. It's, I'm making up words now. I swung that thing. I think you said swagger. I, I think you said swagger for a second. It, I, I am <laughs> as, as, as effectual as that because I swang twice. Missed okay. Both effing times. <laughs> I mean, I did a hell of a lot of imaginary damage. So I got a 25 on both of my rolls, so I didn't hit. That reminds oh me of it reminds me of a meme I, I I've seen a few times in all the Dungeon and Dragons chats where there was apparently like a, an accident for like a, a truck down, driving down a highway and all this dice fell on the highway oh, and God. they were like oh an accident an accident happened on the highway today oh, yeah. uh, no no one was injured but the uh, the highway uh, suffered uh, forty two thousand eight hundred eighty seven <laughs> damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally my favorite favorite thing of all time. 
it would have um, been 31, but... That is awesome. <laughs> okay, so you, do you, you have no damage? You, you, have, you have an actual one in there, that's it? No, no, th there are actually no ones in this. I, I rolled to hit three, four times now. So for my first two attacks, I got 25 on each for a total of 31 that never existed. Did you use any rerolls right now? No, no. Do we have okay. a finite amount? You yes. do. We do. Thirteen okay. right now. Then yeah, I'm not going to use them on misses. I'm going to use them on on that okay. on that one. Yeah, you, you, and just a reminder, you do, you're obviously which I think you're doing. You have advantage, obviously, which is what you're doing, and then you have re rolls if you need them. Yeah. Um. Okay, Hogar, what'd you do damage? Uh, I have my goggles on, so I have my times six modifier. So, uh, I two <laughs> hits, two hits, both for eighty five damage. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dan, hold on, you get to roll two different um, death saves. Two? If you, roll, if you roll a one on either of those, then he dies instantly. All right. The body so is destroyed. Nice I mean. So if I, oh, the, yeah, my red, uh, I, I, it's out of the booth. I don't know where it is. All right. Dan. So I have, you want, you want to move on to someone else? Uh, let me do it. Let me, let me do it. So, no. All right. Yeah, let's, let's let him do some damage, and then you kill him retroactively. Yeah, all right. Don't leave us hanging. So listen, uh, if I have two rolls, and with each roll I have two re-rolls, so I really have like six chances to roll a one here. Yes, you have the re-rolls. All right, here we go. Do you want the camera on the rolls? I trust you. Okay. Here we go. First roll, a four. I'm gonna re-roll that though. Ooh, re-roll. Re-roll out of the totem. Fourteen. Another re-roll. Oh man. Fifteen. Uh, All right. <laughs> so that's the first, he, the first death roll. One. Here comes the second death roll. A two. Ah! <laughs> uh, if, if, if it makes you feel better, that's really not close to the number one on the die at all. <laughs> so I, you, I know. I know. You're, I mean, you know. That's really yeah, nice. It's Tom. different. Yeah, all right. First, first reroll. Here we go. One. Oh! Yes. He did it! Wow! Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. Yes, take yes. a picture because the picture will definitely prove it. No <laughs> <Okay>. last <laughs> longer. Wow, that's awesome. So you guys, you guys are fighting back and forth. Um, Holgar puts a sword and cuts down the whole uh, length of, of uh, his body, and all of a sudden you see uh, the light from inside of him jump up and swirl around, and I uh, start basically just going to the air for now. And um, that's the only thing I'm gonna tell you right this second. So okay. everyone sees this pretty much, except for Vin and Tom, and who we're gonna go we'll go right back over to right now. Uh, Bistia, you know you see this too, um, but we're gonna go right back to um, the thistle underneath. Okay. Uh, you two are there. You guys can talk. I'll give you about ten seconds of of free chat, and then you gotta make an action. Tom, Vin, go. Uh, let's destroy this thing. Do you have any ideas? Because this thing is tremendous. I, I can't just stab it with my short sword. No, stab it with the rod. This might be, this might be in the middle of this, like his, uh, his, his soul crystal, for lack of a better term. Um, right? Might be in here. So let's try and find it. Just run the thing through. Do we really That's want to hit with the rod? Because anything can happen. Like, I mean, anything can happen. I don't even know. know. Time's up. Time's up. Six seconds to take an action. Six, five, four. Stab it with the Three. rod. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> jeez Louise. Oh. Are we ready? Am I just rolling the, the D1 10,000? Th I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> you should be. You're scared. I'm the one holding the stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're That's on a I mission from gods. Okay. Right. True. True. That's right. You know what? Let me have a look. That reminds me. All right, Tony. <laughs> I'm like, where I... you going, buddy? <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm winding up here. God damn it. <laughs> Where's Tony? As I, 
as I stab the the rod into the heart, I pray to Alabaster for help. <laughs> Why not the collector? Because the collector is not in the rod. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, um... Stab the rod. How we stab the uh, heart? Stab the, the rod? rod? That's a different thing. <laughs> oh, no! Um... I don't know if you heard what I said at all, Tony, or not. But no, I heard nothing. I heard nothing. What was the um, the number? I, I, well, I didn't even roll the number yet. I was talking to you about something, and then you, you disappeared on us. You went to go no. the doorbell for Brooke's mom, but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I said, when I, when I go to stab the heart with the rod, I want to pray to Alabaster at the same time. And see. <laughs> okay. But everybody who prays in D and D, they're so desperate. Oh, I am very desperate. <laughs> much like much like most people who pray in real life. Well, uh, no, no. People pray for all different sorts of reasons. No, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I take it back. But like well, most of the like, time, um, so you don't got to pray just to make it to death. Okay. Sorry. But yes, okay. right, more like that. Uh, in the foxhole, there's no atheists. Kind of a thing. I'm, I'm rolling. Yes. All right. Yeah. Ready? I rolled. Okay, I can't remember. 5,937. As I Man, 5, I, was, I was so hoping it was 19. Sorry. 1930. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. That's not good. Oh god, no. Uh, that's not so good. you do it, nothing happens. <laughs> oh man. Oh Jesus. That you can see. Right, one of those. That's even scary. Nothing, nothing happens. Nothing happens. So you don't know if it's good or bad. And then you give me six the seconds to keep, to keep it, <laughs> keep it or lose it. Six. It's a show five, about nothing. Four. Three. Yes. I've Two. If the heart's still re-roll. Pumping, I re-roll it. Okay. Oh, oh God. When you re-roll, I'll tell you what the old one was. Awesome. Oh my God. Unless you want to change your mind to keep it, you might be interested. No, no I'm man. Twelve, twelve eighty-three. You could be into this. You could be into this. Oh man. I really <laughs> want to roll. Would what, you roll? Velvet tusks. One, two, eight, three. One, two, eight, three. Uh, so every time you use a rope, target is ten percent likely to strangle himself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh thank god. Who thinks who thinks Vinny should have kept it? <laughs> me. That sounds like me in real life. <laughs> Evan, Monies, what's going on? Guys, we reached 50 shares. Guys, you have a plus one now. That's awesome. Yeah. Guys, push it to, push it to 100. Push to 100, get yeah. that plus two going. Um, okay. So, one, two, it, you know. one, two, eight, three. Let's see what that is. Remember, remember when you guys used to be afraid to use this thing? Now you're just like, no big deal. Oh, I'm still afraid to use it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just taking I'm it. Like, it's like right. flipping it up in the air. Okay. <laughs> Thistle, you disappear. Tom, you see him disappear. Thistle, all, all of a sudden you appear and you're standing in the middle of a snow-covered field. Is the rod with me? The rod is with you. Six seconds. Five. You're shivering. Like I like scrow. Four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one. Okay, it's all yeah. okay, you sure? Because you could be somewhere amazing. I, I could be, but you said I'm cold and I'm by myself. <laughs> Dan, Dan yeah, likes to be messing Chicago. with you. <laughs> you could be There's Chicago. A, There's a sick yeah. rave that's going to start in two minutes if you stay there. Alabaster <laughs> <No. laughs> Al just comes out with some glow sticks. <laughs> DJ Alabaster! <laughs> The rod is the ultimate glow stick. <laughs> oh my god. That was a good one, man. That was a really good one. Thank you, thank you. I'm getting better and better every day. You always said? Matt, no. no. Matthew Green, 1,000 stars. Thank you. Oh, we're back Green? It. Awesome. Two re rolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, re-rolls as needed, Matthew Green, thank you so much for re-rolls. That is uh, two re-rolls. Uh, you can put that back in. Um, Rob, are you keep, keeping track of all the re-rolls that were used? Rob is <laughs> muted. What's Rob, you're muted. <laughs> muted, big man. Rob, 
Oh, we got, uh, so we just got yes. two more. That brings us up to 10. Okay, and you just took off the ones before, right? I, I think yes. he uh, used, used a bunch. Used about... We already used okay, six today, it. so. <laughs> we both Jesus. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so this is your last one, Vin. Six, eight, one, three. Mm, six, eight, one, three. Oh, it's the other tusk one. You also get tusks. No, I'm kidding. Yes. <laughs> Did your bottom my teeth? He's the worst. Yes. He's this the worst. is the symmetrical opposite to tusks. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like, they're like, uh, you know, I'm running out of different ones here. Just reverse them all. Okay. <laughs> bottom teeth or <are> tusks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of stuff. Toes or tusks. Oh, that's a good one. Toes or tusks. <laughs> Got it. Eyes or tusks. <laughs> Um. Six eight one three. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Come on, man. Oh God. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Uh, I can't tell you what happens in this one. Okay. Something happens. All right. Well, you can't okay. re-roll, so you have um... to tell him, right? <laughs> Yeah, you can't re-roll. No, you can't re-roll anymore. Well, we so might have to just it. discover so it. What happened? Yeah. It, it can be like the rope thing where he just doesn't even know until he tries to do something. Great. Uh, yeah. It's going to be interesting. You won't know Vin, uh, to walk. so I need to know now what you do next, Vin. Oh, no. Does the rod oh, do boy. any damage to it? Or does it um, absorb any of the souls or anything like that? Or... <laughs> Does I uh, win the game? Uh, did I uh, <laughs> defeat Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> what the rod does. I don't know what it does. Nothing. You don't see anything I, happen. I, I, turn, I turn to Findalar. I'm like, um, Finn, I, I don't think it did anything. Uh, I probably did something. Just probably something we won't like. Uh, A bird right. somewhere is like, ah! Tusks. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna go back. Tom, do you want to do anything? Um, while he's doing that. No, uh, next time around, I'm gonna do something. Okay, I where, what do you want to do? Happen. Gotcha. Uh, can I see where the heart is? Can I see where the uh, heart is? you you can see parts of the heart because there's a land bridge going going through the middle of it, and on the sides you can see the pit. So you can see the the hearts down there. You don't know that they're down there though. You're not you're not sure. Okay. And how far away is the heart from me? I'm not sorry. that far. It's it's about hundred feet less. Okay. So I walk over to where I can get. It's only hundred feet. It's only hundred feet away from you because it's it's far down. Okay. It's not that far. So I want to shoot it with my arrow. Okay. So you can Fire. you can probably hit the, the sides of it. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> so. Four. I'm gonna. A four. Okay. I'm gonna reroll. Okay. Not with that dice. Okay. Nineteen. Oh, a plus. Wait, a nineteen. No, that's it. Just a nineteen. Is that a critical okay. for you? Then my damage. Plus one for yes. shares too. Did oh, yeah, you get your shares? Twenty. Twenty. But that's not my damage. It's unnatural twenty. But is is that a critical for you? The nineteen? Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, we'll figure out your damage, and then we'll go back to you. Um, okay. Now, let's go Let's go back to the other, th other three. Uh, you guys are all around the Necromancer. You see the bodies on the floor, and the body's almost turning into, like, a crumpled... Imagine if you had, like, a bird's nest in your hand, all like, all, and all's just coming apart. His whole body's just, like, crumbling down. And you see, the, like, light dispersing from him and going into the air. And all of a sudden, you see some of that light uh, kind of, like, kind of blow out, like... Whoosh, and then some of it flies into the uh, that black uh, vortex that is in the center of the room. Back behind us. Yeah. It's in the middle of the room. It is behind you, right? Oh, man. I uh, I poke at the remains with my axe. Okay, it just, it just seems like it's just crumbling away. <clears throat> Go straight back. Uh, that, that, that was like 75 feet or so to the center of that, right? So, by... Good. Run over there by about fifty feet or so. I'm within twenty feet of it. About. Yeah, it's fine. You you run back to the seat of vortex. Yeah, it's uh behind us. And, and go on back there. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's a divine sense. Um, 
Evil, good, coming from that, concentrating, evil. still. It it's, feels evil from there. Um, any I, difference from the first time I, I I used Divine Sense on it? Like, is it more evil? Is it concentrated evil? I don't it, it, it is concentrated evil. Uh, the only thing you know is definitely, since you're checking out right now, is you notice there's like a power build up there. And you see like power is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. She's gonna blow! Um, what do we do now? There's only one thing that I can do. Run it through. You stab the vortex with your sword? I, it's... You run into it? I have to try something. Is there anything in there that would make me think that this even has a physical property to it? Or is it just this completely is, spiritual? I would say this vortex is beyond you. It's, as a paladin. So, oh, so, so this is one of those, you're an idiot, Reed. Don't do it. <laughs> Okay. No, you're not. You're, no, no, you're not an idiot. I just I can't answer any questions that your character would understand on it. You have no idea what it is. If it's if it's physical, if it's a portal, you know it's some sort of portal or a black hole. Or All right. So holding my something. mighty water bottle plus two, I get my hand a little bit closer to him, about twenty feet away. How far can I get before it becomes repulsive? Like I start getting nauseous, uh, nauseated, and I would say with I probably about fifteen feet. What's everybody else doing? Yeah. Oh, my damage was 26, Tony. Uh, I would okay, 26. turn and follow him. Sorry. Okay, so you approach you, you approach the uh, the vortex, uh, Holgar <laughs> and Arky. Uh, I'm uh, standing there. I have no idea what to do at this point, to be honest. Sword um, down, bended knee, begin to pray. Give me guidance. No I've system. run out to where Abyssia is on the side and look to see what's what she's doing. Okay, yeah. Abyssia, you fired the arrow down. Um, it's not, you didn't have any fire on or anything else. You, you just yeah, fired a regular arrow? Fire out, my fire bow. Oh, it's in the fire bow. Okay, so you fire it down. Um, Findalar and Thistle, you guys are on the heart, and all of a sudden you, you see something fly near you and goes through the heart. Uh, I feel like a good heartburn joke is coming up here, but it goes through the heart, goes down, down to the pit, and you see that the heart uh, is like glowing red in a spot as if it looks like it's hurt very badly from, from the shot. And uh, the heart starts beating like really fast and irregularly. Uh, Tom me? and Tom and Vin, what do you want to do? What, what, was that, what was it that went past this? It was, that was it. It was something fast. You couldn't even see it. Okay. Just look red what and fast. Um, right. is a Jackie, is, we, we, some people coming in. Uh, Tim Shanks. Uh, he's giving 200 stars. He's adding it into the, into the pot. Uh, just put 200 stars down. Um, Thank you, Shanks. Joe oh. Perry. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Joe, Joe Perry says, nice retirement beard, Vinny Pro. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Ani is making a great point. Uh, Oni is saying that there are three portals. In the back where he was standing, don't forget there are three archways with portals that were like kind of like shifting between different areas apparently where they were going. You don't know if it's just scrying or if you actually can travel through like a portal, but don't forget they're there. That's what he's reminding you. Uh, Jackie Scholl says, are the zombies aware of what happened? Uh, since she's asking that, you guys look around and see, see the zombies. And when the whole blast went out and hit all of them, you see all the zombies kind of like get a little bit more frantic. They seem to be not focused. Um, she wants to know, did the body crumbling cause the zombies to do anything else? That's, that's what that was. Uh, Vinny, look at the portal with your new secret door thing. It's interesting. Uh, Jarrett Woods mm. uh, says, the same Reed level. says, hold my beer. I got this. Um, <laughs> Martin, Martin Laurie says, throw a leg at it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, an, that's a season two strategy. If I audience yeah. it, throw body parts at things. Nice. Jackie Shaw says, Leroy Jenkins. Uh, Scott Weber says, Lump Screams. That's the Necromancer's Phil Lactose Tree. Phil Lactose of Lactose Tree. Phil Lactose Tree. Um, <laughs> Tim Shank says, I will shank you very much. Nice. Ooh. Richard Wilde it, it says, is there a way to the prison? Hmm. Okay, so um, 
what are you guys doing all around? Everyone's in a weird situation. Anyone can go. Is there a hole in the heart? Like I can see into it now, or is it like? No, no, no. You can't see, it, but it definitely went through. Okay. Um, Finn, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Here. I'm going to stab it with my sword, but I don't know. Maybe you got something up your sleeve, but I got nothing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try something. Okay, so here's the thing. I think we can destroy it, and I think I can destroy it. I don't say easily. I can destroy it. My worry is that there's something inside that we want, so I don't want to obliterate it. So you want me to just stab the hell out of it? No. I, well, I, yeah. Let's uh, let's try and let's try and stab it. Why don't we? Uh, why don't you ride down it like a sail, like a pirate on the sail? Because um, <laughs> there's a lot of zombies down there, and I have no intentions of falling into them. Actually, wait. Okay. Just so you, wait, 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 wait. Do like Below you is a, is a giant pit in going into blackness. Wait, I see. That is for the heart. There's no zombies. Oh. It's just death down there. Wait, wait, wait. The so, zombies are all the zombies are on the sides. All on the sides. He Do I still have come down. Fly on me? I still have fly on me, right? It's not it's not ten minutes, has it? No, all your spells were removed when you guys entered this chamber. They were no. removed before that, no. when the light happened, and they were removed again when you guys went down. I didn't fly yeah. inside the chamber. Yeah. Was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that's, then that's still on, yes. Oh, okay. So if that if that's the case then. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna stab the hell out of it then, Finn. I don't know what uh, what else to do here. And I just take out my sword and I just start running a line down the heart. <laughs> okay, Ugh, I actually, okay. um, I cast, um, I cast Bigby's hand and I try and reach into the hole that the, uh, that, that we got with the rod, that we made of the rod when we stabbed it with the rod and try and just dig in to see if I can find anything in the heart that's not a heart. Just, I want to try and go inside and grasp what the heck. Okay, Tom roll d20 and uh, intelligence check and um, Vin just do an attack. Uh, 23. Okay. And was then? that my intelligence check? A, that was my intelligence Yes. 2031. 20, 31. 30. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Uh, Vin, you fly around, you take the sword, and you go across, and you're actually very successful, and you're cutting into pieces. Um, and at the same time, Tom, you're going through it. Tom, you come to the area where you see actually you're going through that your suspicions are correct, and you see something shining up. But at the same time, because of the the expertness of the cutting of Vin, all of a sudden you see the whole heart mass just go like this and go Poof, and fall oh, yeah. down the hole. Vin is still flying. You're not flying right now. You're falling you? with it, and everything is just going down. We're gonna okay. we're gonna go to the rest of the group right now, guys. What do you guys want to do? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, so we, man. from our view, we still can't see. I'm standing by Abyssia. We can just see like the edge of the heart. Can we? S so you hear a falling? large you hear a large noise. You hear cutting. Uh, you hear like a yell. I imagine it would come from probably from Tom uh, from falling. You hear some like um, some noise from like the. The, you know the heart being cut so you guys are aware if you want to be when you say that we hear noise from the heart being cut can you describe that noise like is it something that indicates that the heart is no longer present um like flesh is being cut and you hear like oh. almost explosive bubbling noise let's hear it then tony what you oh. Then? <laughs> oh wow that was almost like a vanilla envelope. Yeah. <laughs> Audio Dutch. It was very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we can't see yeah. still Tom or Vin, though, from our vantage, because they're, like, underneath the land bridge, if I have the... No, you but you just hear what I what I described. We just hear... Okay. So, uh, uh, Adi says, Finn better have an exit plan, LMAO. Uh, if you're gonna end up in the mirror image of the temple in the 42nd le level of hell. <laughs> Can I cast fly on Finn? Can you cast fly on? No, he's nowhere near you. Um, Tom using the giant hand causes the... Well, Vin already has fly on him. Tom uses, yeah. uses the giant hand ca causes the middle finger uh, to extend in the air on the way down and grab onto the wall. <laughs> um, what do you guys want to do? Six seconds for somebody to say something. Six? Okay. Uh, it, I, uh, if I hear that noise, I'll run over just to the edge and peek over just to see what's happening. Okay, you get a glimpse of, of Findalar falling. Uh, as quickly as I can, I'll take out my rope and throw it down to him. 
You're and throwing your rope, he's falling way faster than your rope, and you can even swing your rope to throw. By the time you throw it, it he's fallen down. Okay. So you can you, th you throw the rope, but it's, it's no avail. Okay. Any kind um, of right. wisdom, anything that there might be happening right now by the strength of I would just probably go over to Holgar, where he is right now. He go over to Holgar? Yeah. Arky, Abyssia? Okay, so we Reed. can see, if we peek over the edge, we can see... In the you see something that happened? Yes. So, I, so everyone who just looked over the something. edge. Yeah. One second. You guys. You guys see him falling. Okay. You, you I'm gonna over, yes. I'm gonna jump over the ledge and try and. Oh jeez. Get to uh, see how this works, but I jump over the ledge. Okay. You jump over. Jump over the ledge, and you go down there, and you're uh, falling. I guess you're going down. Uh, f head down <laughs> first, right? Like that. Um, no, I'm gonna go feet down. Like, oh, you just jump down. Okay, okay. So you like jump that. down the ledge. Botorius, you see him jump down uh, next to you. Holgar, you see the same thing. Uh, everybody sees this. Oh. Reed, what do you want to do? Anything? Yeah, I just saw everyone vacate this ledge and jump off. No, 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 no just no. Uh, no. just Arky. It's uh, just <laughs> Botorius looks at you and just shakes his head. I'm not jumping. <laughs> <laughs> right, He's going down there. I, I, I would take a look at the missing one. Take a look at the one exactly. still standing. Take a look at the missing one. Take a look at the standing one. Thank you for that divine inspiration. Go to the edge. Look down. It's evil down you there. See. <laughs> By the time, since, since you since you since you spent the time looking back and forth, look over there. Yeah. You just see black. You just see the hole is empty, and you re you recognize that there was a heart there or something, and now there is nothing. Thank you. Insert God name here. <laughs> Red Knight, the Thank lion. Thank you, Red Knight. Were they, what happened? <laughs> Who's standing um, next? He's, he's, he's he fell. Yeah, Finn one fell. second, Tom. And then, yep. and then Arky jumped down. He jumped in. Oh God, they've committed suicide. Tom, Maybe, they, they, could do? Maybe they could All fly. Right, just one, one quick question: How wide is the heart exactly, or roughly? I don't. I don't, I don't need fifty feet, meters, but fifty feet. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to try and do two things as I'm falling. One, I'm going to try and use Bigby's hand to grasp the glowing item. Okay, so uh, that is the first thing I do, and that is something that Bigby's hand can do. But I just want to Give me a concentration check uh, of of um, eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is my modifier on that? I'm sorry. I think it's your. So I'm gonna roll. I think it's. It, what's concentration? Is it? Is it? Um. Constitution. 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 That's it. No proficiency bonus. Just one d20 plus my constitution. Did not make that. Well, if you get if you get it, but actually, I don't. I don't think you would. Okay, so you're trying to focus as you're, as you're basically just falling. The thing is below you. It's hard for you to even see it. You're trying to think about using a spell to do it. Everything put together, you're not able to manage it to put together a plan. Uh, Thistle, okay. you're flying. What do you want to do? Do I see the object falling? Do I see Tom, uh, Finn falling? No. You've never seen the object. You don't see the object. You do so see Finn Lars right. falling. Do I see him falling? Yes. I'm going to see if I can try to grab him. I don't know how well that's going to work out. I, I sheath my sword, and I see if I can try to grab him. Okay, um, just give me a dex check of 14. <laughs> Make it 17. Okay, so, so you grab him. He's a lot bigger than you are, so you're still, you know, you're now actively falling, but you're falling slow. Faster than, <laughs> faster than normal. So, I'm sorry, slower than normal, but faster than a feather fall. Okay. Um, does that uh, you give me... Got I'm sorry, does that give me... A chance to calm down in any way and try and do something else. Yes, that that will allow you to not have to make a concentration check. But the heart is is fallen pretty much much faster. So the heart okay. is within. Uh, is it within? Is reach. it within five hundred feet of me? Yes. I cast arcane gate above above my hand and below the set where where the, where I believe <laughs> the item is. Oh my god! The now. It's a ten foot circle, so I don't. It's not a hundred percent chance, right? I, I'm gonna try and aim where I think it is, and then that. So it's part, basically, 
Okay. okay. It's one out of, I got so, a 2% chance of, like, in the right spot of it. That's wild. Okay. Um, up top, uh, finally, uh, something happens that has not happened for an age. You see a lump gets out of the um, uh, zombies and gets onto the top. <laughs> he goes, oh, where's Necromancer? Recast. Kill. Wait, is he near me right now? Oh, yeah, he comes with you. Sparky says, he says they, they're, all, they're all falling down the pit. He goes, oh, oh we um, missed. Oh, wait here. Oh, oh, wait dang. here. Yeah. We go, we go down, and then we see dirt. Zombies go down. Me chase zombies. I'm glad you're back, Lump. This heart. Thanks, man. Right. He hugs this you. heart is starting to get stronger. There's something else going on there. I don't know where the hell the necromancer is gone. Now there's several of us missing. I heard something under me, uh, under all of us, having to do with the heart. <coughs> I look back at the portals. Any change? The portals are constantly changing. Changing what do we know about the portals? The portals and the archways. There's three of them, and they keep changing. There's also the vortex in the middle of the room, just so people no one's confused. And that vortex looked like the exact spot where the light was shooting out of and going up. The heart, there's a is a is a platform underneath that, and the heart is un, was underneath that. And the necromancer, the light from him went up into the vortex. The light of him boomed out everywhere, shined everywhere in the entire thing like a flash, and then some part of it went into that vortex. <laughs> Is there any indication which way the vortex is going? Like, is it spiraling up, spiraling down, just kind of spiraling? It's just flickering in place. Got it. Tony, I look at the portals. Can, am I able to see anything because of the my eyes? Uh, you can see through the portals. Uh, everyone can actually see somewhat through the portal. You see it crystal clear. Um, everyone can kind of see, like, imagery. Um, you see on the other side, one is a throne room. And it's all like this... Um, like it looks like like a clay colored stone and all these tapestries in this enormous throne room um another one is a uh red stoned room that is actually pretty small and it looks very dark in there and you're you're able to see that very clearly um the third one looks like it's going into um kind of like a forest and you see that that the, the forest and the other trees are very thick on top you can't even see the sky and it uh, looks like you're almost like coming out of like a, a spot on the floor somewhere. That's what it's at right now. Um, who goes now? Tom, uh, Tom, I'm, I'm gonna move forward your thing. So the, um, you cast the spell, the heart gets cut in that piece. Uh, give me an intelligence ch a check of, you're not going down too bad with the heart, 15. Made it, 26. Okay. So you, you you figure it out and you wherever you saw that uh, that light you pretty much feel like you nailed it. Uh, it goes through. You see that piece ten ten feet wide is now above you, falling faster than you. Uh, you and Thistle, what do you guys want to do? I still have the hand as uh, as a spell, so I'm going to put it above us and try and catch the heart. Okay, that, okay. So you, you put you put the Bigsby hand uh, on top of you trying to hold or uh, push back the heart or anything. Uh, Thistle, you're just holding him. I don't think you can do very much else, right? That's it. I'm just holding on to Tom, uh, the fin and... because... Yeah, it's really... Okay. Not, not so, like... And I've jumped the over. Heart... So what exactly am I seeing? Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> Death. Uh, no. The big, Bigsby, the hand... Uh, Bigsby hand uh, hits the heart. The heart is coming down faster than uh, Bigsby can hold. How much weight can Bigsby hold? Uh, let's see. Take a uh, look. Uh, no. Arky, you're, you're dropping down. You're dropping down pr pretty fast. Um, from the first round, you drop down. You, you don't see anything. And then as you're going, you're starting to see something. And um, and he's, like, he's, like probably the figures of your allies. And then you see something much closer to you. And it looks like a, um, like a, like a red heart comes out. I need you to roll for me, actually, a d20. And if you roll a 1 through a 5... Um, Something happens, and there's no reroll on this. One through five. Here we go. Yes. Twelve. Five. Okay. You're not no. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay, so you fall right by what appears to be some sort of portal, and you don't fall into it. Um, oh, and you see, oh, no. And you see, you see bel below you is is this this uh, piece of heart that is a disgusting mass of flesh and organ and such just falling below you. Uh, you're falling pretty fast. You're pretty heavy. Uh, do you do you want to do anything while you're falling? So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get a sense. So right now the abyss or some sort of pit is below us, and I'm still the sides where the zombies the zombies are kind of out to the side of where I am. Then is that if I have the geography right? The zombies are all, all the way above you, and out on, on on top they're all on the sides. There, there's you're, nothing. You're, you're, you're way below you. the zombies. You understand right, that? What's out to the side of me? If I, when I jump over to the land bridge, a hole. <laughs> you jump over the land bridge and you jump into a hole that goes way below this lair. Right. Okay. Let's see how this works out. So, um, <laughs> do I see the stone or 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 and Finn stone? And, and thistle? You see. Or you see the, sorry, the heart. You don't see them. You don't see them yet. You see this mass of flesh, heart, and it's just falling in the in the air. You're, you're not really sure why or what's happening. Uh, Tom, did you get the uh, weight weight allowance? Nine hundred and twenty pounds I can carry at a uh, max load. Okay, so the hand the hand goes there, and the hand is just being pushed down by the mast. Okay, uh, I, 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 um, it's just coming closer. When my hands meet, that that's when it hits you. Okay, uh, this will. Uh, how far down? How far down am I from the? the I just black on you, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thistle, the phylactery is in the heart. Grab it. Let me go. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. You hit. I said, nice. Now up against you. All right. You're now both being pushed up against it, and in like into the heart. Finn, hold, hold on to the heart. It's gonna fall back into the portal, and then you just come back out through the top. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'll I try that. All right, and then I let go of him. Is that him. portal still, still active? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Vin, you let go. You let go of him, and you have no choice to stay, Vin, because you're being pushed in down by this thing. That's fine. I, I mean, um, I... you're being pushed into this the heart, like cushioned in. Um, Can I cut and so, it? Did you say yes? The or... portal is still up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm double checking now, but yeah. Um, Vin, I'll, I'll give you a try. Roll with disadvantage. To try to do it. To do anything you want to do. What am I? What am I rolling at disadvantage? I, I know you. I know you're saying disadvantage, but is it a check or is it just an attack? Attack. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, so I, I, yes. I want to try to get to the ob object, so I guess I have to cut the heart. Am I correct? It's the only, only thing you can cut. You don't see the object. Okay, so I, so I just start cutting into the heart to try to get into it if I can. Ugh, yes. Disgusting. Um, yes. 10 minutes the portals are up for. A 17 at disadvantage. Seventeen at disadvantage. Uh, guys, let me know if we're, if we're still up right now in the stream. I think that I think it's still up. I'm just seeing it here on my end's uh, topic on Facebook, but I think that it's still going. I still see it up. Okay, it's just me then. Okay, so um, we we get numbers again. Seventeen at disadvantage. That was so disadvantage. Advantage. Okay, you're, you're you're cutting a bit, but it's like it's very hard to do anything. So you're just very, very badly cutting it. You're not really doing anything with any kind of precision. Uh, the portal is still is still there. So you guys go down and you fall into the portal, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, uh, Rob, as you're falling, you see a massive uh, heart disappear from below you and appear above you. You look up and you see the two of them are underneath it. Um, we're gonna stop right there. Everybody up top. What are you guys doing? You, um, and before, actually, before you answer that question, you see the, the that light, that vortex is now starting to become like gray, almost like it's, it's becoming lit with something. And uh, Reed, you said you sense power. I is sense the vortex what? getting bigger? Uh, slightly. What? What did you say? I sensed. 
You said the portal is, is getting, the vortex is getting more powerful. Whatever more is in powerful. there is getting, yeah. Take a step back. This thing is not doing well at all. It's getting even more powerful with that. What do we know about these portals? Anything at all? I didn't come all this distance only to die in my sleep at some old age. Tell me now what's happening with these things. Uh, Tony, I look, I look at the portals again, and what do I see now? Uh, you look at the portals, and you see. Well, it's only been. Um, so it's only been around. So they're oh, still the same. This was, okay. How yeah, long? Yeah, all they, that was six seconds. They, how long do they stay? Uh, you, you you haven't been paying attention, so you're okay. not sure. Okay. But it's not too long. Uh, anybody else up top? What do you want to do? Yep, I start walking towards the portals. <clears throat> okay, I, I'm walks to the portals. Eyes, eyes locked on on any of these archways um, and start looking for any kind of a pattern. See if I could see through it when it happens to pop up in front of me as I get closer. Anything, uh, still uh, um, uh, sensing, seeing if there's any kind of radiating anything I can pick up on. I have no more spell slots. I have no more armor. I have a great sword and a very pissed off attitude. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you're back. You're backing off towards the uh, the gateways, and um, you see that this thing is is obviously getting brighter and brighter. And you can sense as a paladin, you can sense the the evil and the power getting stronger and stronger. Um, get out of its way! It's only going to grow. This whatever it is that's inside of that that damn necromancer is controlling it, or is inside of it. Oh, get out of there! Oh God, we gotta go. We gotta get out of here. I don't know if we should go through the portal. Or if we should try to get out of here another way, but this thing is this thing's getting bigger now. We gotta get out of here. Where are we supposed to go? I tell them what each of the portals looks like right now, if it's still the same. Okay. And it's still the same. What, what do you guys want to do? How we're just gonna leave them? I don't think anybody's behind. <laughs> Hogar, you're we can't hear you. We can't uh, hear you, Hogar. Oh damn, we can't hear you. Okay, work work on it. Dan, if you need if you need to text right now, just text somebody. Otherwise, uh, see if you can fix the audio. Um. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go right to, back to the bottom, up top. See, figure out what you're gonna okay. do. So yeah, I have an idea. So now, I have the heart is above me. You said it went through the portal and popped up above me. So yes. I'm gonna use my jet boost, uh, my new spark uh, power on my suit to just kind of shoot myself right into the heart is my plan i see it coming up into me so i'm just kind of like oh, <laughs> okay so here's a, i have a very important question here are you aiming for the center where tom and vin are or are you trying to hit the side of it so three seconds they're, three wait, 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 we know wait, the wait. answer we you know the answer come on you said it, they're below it so like if i were to just shoot straight up at it would i be ramming right into them um, no I'm, it's I'm not gonna... you're off to the you're off to the side, but you could aim for this for the yes, the, so the outer part of the circle side. or the center. You can try and go from the side right through the center. Right. You're going up towards the circle. Now you're going up to the circle on top, right? right. You're either hitting right. in the middle where they are, or you're hitting the side, outer ring or inter or in the center. Well, I don't want to smash into them, so I guess to the side of them. Don't you? <laughs> or, no. or do you? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'll, I'll just narrowly avoid them and try and get as close to the center as I can. Intelligence check. Oh, mm. yeah. You're a smart man. That's, that's, a, smart that's a good gnome. one for me, actually. It's my highest stat. <laughs> Aha, 21. 21. Okay. So you uh, you fly in. You're about to, to hit the heart. Uh, Scott Weber says, Sparky says, if you don't find the show. Okay, I'll just say it. Uh... Sparky says everybody up top, but he goes, he goes, guys, if we don't destroy, destroy the flactory, no. then it's all for nothing. We can do this. We are the Blackwater Bandits. Yeah. Martin, Martin hey. says, can you cast more than one portal and ride the portals up to Hogar's rope? That's what Martin Lawrence says. Joe Perry, welcome to stream. Welcome back to stream. Arjuna says, time to split the party in three. That's why things happen. Scott Weber, thanks for firing the stars. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, okay, Rob, you hit you you 
you break through the heart, you go through the whole thing. You also you also have a, a large uh, amount of metal around you. You break through the whole thing. It, you hit resistance, uh, but you're going through it and past it and up. I'm now going to make a very interesting roll and see what happens. Wow. Kind of a gun. Okay, the heart kind of flips around. Um, Tom and Finn, you are you are both like flipping around with the heart and all the chaosness. And uh, Rob, you're flying up towards the top of the hole. And if you keep doing that, you'll be out in like a round. Uh, Tom and Vin, what do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna. Are we? We're rotating around it, or are we just stuck below it? The heart. You, you're 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 now in a, in a ro- rotational spin. You're just like out of kind of out of control. So. Um, I just want to just jam my sword into it and try to like brace on and hold. Okay, Tom. Can I? I want to. Can I in any way? see this thing or sense where this thing is this glowing thing inside the heart if you have some ability or some spell that help you sense it uh, otherwise you uh, cannot uh can I, can I cast locate object on it i've seen it i think you do that uh you attempt uh, to cast locate object and you get nothing shoot okay um, yeah. You guys, as you guys are falling, by the way, you start to feel the air get very hot. Um, going back to the top, oh, no. um, you guys are all up there. It's been now about 18 seconds since he's fallen. You, uh, uh, Abyssia, you can sense that the portals are going to change soon within the next uh, six seconds? next 12, 18 seconds. Okay. Oh. Can Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey, all right. Uh, Hogar says, "Everyone, run to the portals." I'll wait here for everybody down at the bottom. Go now. Which one should I we run. go to? Which one should we go to? The throne I don't room, know. the redstone room, or the forest? Can you see in the doors? Yes, I can. I tell them everything that I see. Okay, you, know. you go wherever you think is right, Abyssia. Go now. Oh Tony, how close am I <laughs> to Abyssia? Can I hear that information? <laughs> Abyssia, Abyssia, you're near the, near the portals. Abyssia is, is not. She's got to run like about 70 feet or so. Uh, Botorius is closer than that. Okay, so with uh, all the Sparky, other, with, I'm sorry, with all the information, okay. the zombies, the, the vortex and the whirling sounds and everything else, um, as I'm getting closer to the portals, can I hear that information? Yes. Wait, What's can in hear there? Conversation? Are I'm you saying this? You Oh, you guys, you guys are yelling it back and forth to each other. He's close enough to hear. Oh, good. All right. Cool. Can you see inside of read. these things? I can read. Um, the portals are going to change any moment, but there's uh, a couple of choices we have to go to a throne room, a stone room that's small, or a forest. Where do you guys think we should go? Go to the throne room. Destroy the throne. Go now. All of us. That's the first one. All right. Are. With that information, I start heading towards a look back at Abyssia. Give me a number. Tell me left, one, middle, right. One, one, one. I start going. One towards, is the uh, one is the redstone room. Oh, no, I'm sorry. One is the throne room. Yeah. Two is the redstone room, and three is the forest. Okay. Sword up a little bit tentative, but moving fast. Okay. So now nobody say anything. I just told you one, two, and three, and I can't answer any more questions. Um, Steve, which one do you run to? Going off of what Abyssia said, I stand in front of portal number one. This one! Dad. So you choose number one, correct? Yep. That's the one you choose, Steve? For the lion! Straight in. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, oh, yeah. Steve repelled my Steve DMing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Steve goes through number one. Steve will be there in number one. Um, Sparky, I think Sparky's going to stay. Uh, guys uh, online, uh, let me know if you want Sparky to stay or go, and let me know if you want, me, want Lump to stay or go. You guys can choose at home. Uh, just I'll, I'll read the chat, and we'll see what you guys want them to do. Uh, for those of you just joining us that don't know what's, what's going on, we're in, 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 in the bottom of the Necromancer's lair, like a Lich's lair. Uh, Lump and, and Sparky are characters that you guys at home can control. Lump is a um, uh, uh, an, a half-orc who, who thinks he's a wizard. <laughs> Somehow is a little bit of a wizard with some magical robes, and uh, Sparky is a, a little gnomish um, wizard uh, mechanic guy. Jackie Schultz says, "Lump stay, Sparky go." Let's see what else? What else we get? Uh, oh God, okay. Steve. Oh my God, Steve. 
Uh, uh, Botorius. No one saying anything? Botorius, which number are you going to? One, two, or three? I am running towards door number one, but I want to wait <clears throat> for Abyssia to catch up to me before I go in. Okay, Abyssia, yeah. you're running Botorius. up? I'm running up. Okay. Um, Abyssia, because of how far away you are, I'm going to make you roll a dex check. All you have to do is don't fail the dex check, and you're fine. Otherwise, you may go in when it changes. So the dex check is going to be simply... By myself? An, no, Boltorius is waiting for me. Boltorius is waiting for me. I okay. did say I was waiting for her. So when she catches up close to you, do you start running in, Boltorius? <laughs> yeah, so well... You let, do you, yeah, do I... You, I, well, Dorian, I, can you no. hold my hand and we walk in together? <laughs> All right. Nice. Whatever, nice. whatever makes it feel better. <laughs> nice. That makes it feel really a lot better, yeah. Taking the loophole. Okay, you both need to roll a dex check. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. Need you, both need roll... you both need to roll a dex check of uh, DC, uh, DC 8. Not hard. 19. I made it. 13. 13, okay. So you both run to to one, and you go into uh, death. I mean, you go into one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> At least we're together, guys. At least we're together. <laughs> okay, so let's see what, what people want to do. Um, Scott it says, "Send lump charging into throne room portal." Mm -hmm. It's a one. Two hundred stars. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Jackie says, "Sparky, go." Peter says, stay, lump, stay. <laughs> uh, Ani, Ani says, doesn't Rob need Sparky? Richard Wild says, both go. Everyone is completely undecided. <laughs> Ani says, maybe you should wait for Rob. Scott Weber says, Sparky is going to master blaster on Rob's back whenever he goes. Uh, Dina says, lump, stay, Sparky, go. Aww. Uh... <laughs> Ani says, but if the portals change and Sparky goes, they might not get to the same place. Right. Peter says, Sparky go and big explosion. Dina says, Lillian is going to stay and wait for the others. Uh, that's right, Lillian and uh, Sir Fluffle have just been um, guarding the area. Damn it. Um, yeah. Marlon Johnson says, both go. And Jackie says, Fluffle must follow Reed. So Lillian and Fluffle stay wherever Reed is. Ronnie asks, what about Jacques? No one knows where Jacques is. Where's Jacques? Um, it. Yeah. Where's Jacques? That's, can we ask? That's shocking. You can you can ask. We asking. Uh, I'm asking you. <laughs> I can't tell you. You don't know. <laughs> I'm not in there. I'm not there, Brooke. I'm not in the game. All right, so I'm asking Botorius. I asked Botorius. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> You're asking Damien's girl. Go ahead. You're asking Damien's girl to remember something that's happening in the game. <laughs> You know, it was like he was here one minute, and then I don't know where he went. Like, you know, <laughs> Brooke, know. Brooke, you've met, you've you've asked me an observation to to stop and ask Damien about something. Um, that was I take that that was after you guys went through, right? Or no? Oh yeah, after 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 we went through. Well, Brooke, if you want to knock, if you want to stop in the last second, Brooke, and not go through, I'll 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 tell you some information if you see Jacques anywhere in the room. Do you not oh, want to go man. through and hold off? If I hold off, I hold off together with Damien. <laughs> well, no, this, this is this is, you, this is you just thinking. Forget He's it, holding Damien. me Damien. back. Damien. No, I just six seconds. Uh, and I, six uh, seconds. Uh, I tell you, he's in the room. No, I go, go. Five you seconds. I tell you. Right Four. Oh, sorry, yeah. Three. And you get information. Scroll, Two. Scroll, Apple information. Go in. Go in. One. Let's go. We're going. Unknown forever. Okay. Oh, you can go through. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> no, no, we'll get River, 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 River. We'll meet somebody. Um, you don't know. <laughs> is there hair there? You don't know. Okay, so uh, Reed. Like, uh... So Lillian, Lillian, Sir Fluffle, Reed, Abyssia, and Botorius go through to the throne room. Yeah, I can't right. believe you chose that one. <laughs> By the way. told me to. I can't believe oh you chose that one also. I was going to choose the forest. If anybody asked me, it was forest time. Wait a second. Yeah. Now <laughs> is not the time for this. Now, don't go telling me, well, you should have. Hey, Hogar hey, told us to wait come a here. Second. Hogar, stop. Wait, stop. Hogar is the only person who is willing to make a decision, okay? Yeah. I, <laughs> right. I said, go 
the and... throne and destroyed the throne. Now it's my fault? No, no. Hold on. You are, hold on. You are our leader. We were waiting for your direction as leader. And I gave you, you direction. Us. Don't turn around and tell me I did the wrong thing just because I didn't the say. DA says, whoa. No one said, we didn't say you were wrong. Nobody I said that. Say I didn't say that. I'm happy to be yeah. here there, at the moment. Get in there and I destroy that throne. <laughs> there you go. Really he was in here. It was right there. You do it. Um, he did so tell us now. to do that. Hey. And he he just turned into a Beastie Boys video. <laughs> yeah. What you, what you, what you want, what you want. The funny with the money that you want. Oh. I said, did you get your information oh, from, huh? Oh, you ain't getting it because you chose no, huh? Um, <laughs> um now okay, so a lot of the party goes through. Does, What'd you say? The, the, now that they're in that throne room, does that throne room look familiar to them? <laughs> I will not answer that question this time. <laughs> I think um, I know what throne room it is. Yeah, I know what throne room it is. Tony, Tony, do I see Jacques there? Um, I can't tell you just yet what you I see. Hey, hey, Brooke? Yes? Just let me know if, if my guy... But well, Actually, Tony, you tell me whether or not I would know what's inside of that throne room. Brooke, you tell me how I should react. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Okay, Lump yells, Lump cast teleportation! And leaps into the portal. Sparky stays behind. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, right. I'm now going to roll for Lump's uh, dex check because it happened after. Oh, no. Oh, the portal oh, changes. No. I'll re roll it. I'll re roll it. I'll re roll. Re -roll. Oh, yeah, love Natural it. 20. The Quarren 20. Yeah. <laughs> Quarren 20. The Quarren 20. Uh, Big Q. So... Big Q. That's our next t shirt. Quarren 20. Yeah. Okay, so um, he goes through. And at the very uh, moment it changes, he goes through. Um, and Sparky is staying there. Sparky is just around the, around the, uh, the pit, looking down, constantly trying to figure things out. Um, Arky, are you staying in, in Thrust to try and make it to the top? You realize, as you're a smart smart guy, smart gnome, that if you stop the Thrust, you may never make it. Um, do I feel... Is the heart below me now? Oh, way below you, yeah. And Thistle and Finn are on it. They're all below you. You opted not to, not to try to grab them or do anything with them. You just hit the heart and set them into a tailspin. Tailspin... Right, so I... I could, in theory, drop all the way down and land to land on the heart. I can't answer any theories. The heart's can't below help me. Help me theorize. <laughs> you see, right now, your first your first choice is to, if you if you finish the thrust, you'll make it to the top. If you stop the thrust, you won't have enough to get to the top. Six seconds. Oh Six. My God. Five. Four. Three, oh, why didn't I grab two, the heart? Okay, one. I thrust up. I thrust back up to the top. Okay, you come up, and Sparky, and Sparky grabs you. Oh yeah, you made it! Hop on, Sparky. Uh, Let's go. Where is everybody? Sparky jumps on top. They went through the portal. They ran through. They ran through the first one. I think I he looks over because I think it. Ch I, I think it changed. I looked down over the ledge. What can we? I see exactly now. Is it the heart so far down? Can we still see it's anything? It's black from up here. Just black from up here. Going down to Tom and Vin. Uh, the air is getting pretty hot. You're still you're still falling and spitting a bit with this massive heart on top of you. Alright, so I, I sunk my sword in. Did I need to make an attack or anything? Because I was just trying to like brace myself at this point. Yeah, it worked. I, I let you I let you do that. you you put the sword in, you're like holding on. It's it's helping your spin, but you're still you're still at the mercy of the of the orientation or traditional spin of the heart. How, how, when you say it's getting hot, like is it getting like unbearably hot, or is it just getting like warm? It's part, right now. It's probably the equivalent of like a hundred and ten. Oh jeez, pretty hot. Um, okay, uh, I am just gonna. How Tom, you can free action uh, speak. Just to do a do a half yell role play. How bad is this thing spinning again? Like just, just one more time, sorry. It's pretty wild. It's pr it's spring pretty wild. All right, I am it's just in pieces. Shit. Is the is the opening that I slid open anywhere near me? 
can I can I fly to the what? wall or like the the op- like as I bring my sword across this thing? You no, saw. you got you. You guys missed the portal. Be cool. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> that was, was what you feel like. That was that was me. Like. <laughs> that was me DMing what, what it feels like to fall in in, in spirals. Audio um, dungeon. That was great. Audio dungeon. The effects this are amazing. Dungeon. <laughs> So the uh, um, where, where's the heart cut open in relation to me? Is what I'm trying to get an idea at. Like, we, it's all in pieces gotta, now. You can oh, it's like yeah, it's, it's all in pieces. Chunks, it's just chunks of heart spinning through. Yeah, the, it's, it's just the, yeah, it's just like the the dice are all like the pieces. They're all just like falling now. All right, I'm sorry, I'm missing the story. Like, gotcha. And do, do it was it was it was easier before they were broken. Now that it's broken, it's it's just getting worse and worse. You see the object anywhere? Do we see. Yeah. Uh, you can both try to roll natural 20. If you roll right. natural 20, you see the object. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to let go. Or I, ignore that. I got, no, I got fly on me. <laughs> I got fly on me, so I'm going I'm like, to follow it down. Can I, can I use re-rolls, by the way, for that spotting yes. the object thing? Yes. All right, so I did not make it my first one. Rob, how are we for re-rolls? Uh, so nine re-rolls. All right, so I'm going to use them. Two. Two re-rolls. No. No. No yeah. four and twenties for me. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release myself off the I didn't realize it was separate pieces. I thought it was still one part falling. Um I'm gonna release myself from the heart and see if I could see the object because I have fly on me and I'm gonna follow it down and just like constantly like look between the pieces to see if I can find it. Alright, find that snitch, buddy. I am. Okay. You still have roll twenty. Okay. Right. My hands are here. It's a 20. <laughs> yes. I'll show you. How come for your other 20s you didn't do that? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would I lie? Where is it? Can you see it on the camera? I see, I see a, a 6 on a D6. Look at the 20. <laughs> I see the ones that when you add them this up. Looks like the, the, this looks like the meme where, the, where they fall on the highway again. <laughs> <laughs> you see it or not? It's there, I swear. Uh, Where is it? I, I don't, don't see it. Funny. <laughs> I don't see everything but the 20. Can you move your phone? Oh, it's there it is. Wait, I just saw it. I saw it, yeah. You gotta like put it 80. in the camera next time. I, I, I'm looking at a little box. It's like 80. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually a 20. It's a 20, 20, 80. It's it's 20 but then uh, an investigation is the name. Um, okay, so you're all natural 20, and... Um, you spot in one of the chunks of a heart falling in, in, in like the, the glistening a little piece of the crystal. Um, there are five of these things. I'm going to roll and see if you're in uh, one, two, whatever D- D10. You are in it. You're in that one. No. Okay. So one of them, one of them falling near you is uh, has it in it. Okay. So I I immediately break off to it. Finn, I see it, and I go for it. <laughs> grab it. Grab it. Okay. Um, I, I'm not going to bother making you add roll dex check because you're so dexterous, you're fine. Um, you make your way o- over to it, maneuvering. It's probably up to about 125 degrees now. Uh, it's getting very hot. It's getting hard to breathe. And you get up to the piece where the piece of a crystal is sticking out. The crystal is uh, shining bright. For a second, you almost thought it was white because it was hard to look at. But when you, when you see the crystal, it's actually this purple crystal. Purple. Okay. It's it's d- different than the amethyst. To be to be clear. Okay. It's it's very opaque. Absorb the power with the rod. I thought we didn't want to do that. Look, we're gonna die. I um. Shit. I uh. I try to. Fuck. God. Uh. Do we see- Video's breaking down, ladies and gentlemen. I am. I am. <laughs> I am. I'm totally am. Oh my god. Does not. Oh my god. Compute. Does not. Compute. This is the first time I'll power down if you don't need me, sir. This is the first time we saw purple, right? Like other than amethyst. It's, it's, you said it's not amethyst, right? It's the. It's not amethyst. The purple is the light of the necromancer. It's okay. opaque. It's not right. clear. One hundred and thirty degrees. 
All right, so I take out my um, I take out my my magic my short sword, my magic short sword. I and pull I, out my gun and I <laughs> fucking smash it. <laughs> you pull out your sword and you smash the crystal. Yeah. We gotta destroy it, right? I thought that was the point. Was that the point? Absolutely. That's what he did. Absolutely. That's, I thought, that's what he does. I thought destroy yeah. his, fla his, his flackerty was the, the what we had to do. It was something, right? With this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what you want. Imagine watching the movie. Watching, watching it. You're watching a movie, right? And then the movie is like two, two and a half hours long. You get near the end, and then they're going to do the big thing, you know, with the crystal. And then they're all like, "Oh, uh, we were supposed to do like something with the crystal. Um, destroy it. Don't destroy it, or do destroy it, or put, give it to somebody else to not destroy it, or do." We were never <laughs> Frodo and Sam standing at the edge of Mount Doom with the one ring. Yeah. What were we supposed to do with this? So, yeah, put on the <laughs> ring. Don't put on the ring. Destroy the ring. Become the ring. Kiss the ring. Ah, there's something with the ring. Give it to Gollum. Is that what we do? Give it to him. Give it to Gollum. Don't do And, 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 then, we and, and then we're okay. <laughs> the necromancer died, right? His soul. We don't know that. I can't. I can't say that. Oh, we don't know man. anything that happens in the Necromancer. The vessels, the vessels, the vessels, yeah, yeah. The vessels um, no longer active. We only know this. No, I'm destroying it. I'm cold. I'm. I'm. I'm you well, make. You already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you already did it. Make. Make your attack. Peter Heffernan, the uh, he wants to know the purple, the color, of the secret door is yes. The the purple they constantly see that's affiliated with the Necromancer is the same color as crystal, same color as those doors, and anytime they see that color, it is literally the same color. Nineteen. 19. Is it a quorum 19 or a real 19? Well, it's a 7 plus my 12. I thought you, I thought you meant you rolled 19. Um, okay, so you take the thing. Your sword is magical? Yes. It's a plus 2. Okay, what what die, you, what die do you roll for damage? Uh, D6. Okay, if you roll a 6 on the D6, I'll tell you more. God. Would you like to know more? I'm, gonna, I'm showing you a die. I pressed the button. I pressed the button. That's where my jock is. I'm showing you a die, and then I'm rolling it off camera. Go ahead, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Oh, it's a five. Up oh, six. It's a five. It's a five. Oh. Okay. You can so, re-roll then. Um, oh, are you? I don't want to use a re-roll on this, but I guess I will. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I don't want to use a re-roll. <laughs> I don't want to use it. <laughs> Wait, is that her talking is again? She jumped out of her face. <laughs> Why is he Mickey Mouse? Is that the I don't want to use a re-roll, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, same die. Ready? Oh, uh, no, that's Mickey. Come on, man. Boy, oh, boy. Nope. Yeah, well, okay, so one more, man. You want to... We have one more then. Sorry, sorry, Tony. I didn't mean to do that. Fine. <laughs> I was in my position. Apparently, they want me to do it again, so I will do it again. All right. Nope. <sighs> okay, so Vin is sitting there. Uh, Findelar, you see Thistle go. He, he crashes into it. You see like a glimmer of light go like, like out like that. But it doesn't. It almost like the light was about to come out, but doesn't escape as he as he strikes it. It's almost like when you're seeing sparks when you're like you know hitting something with metal on metal. Um, right. That's what happens. Uh, let's. I'm gonna keep you guys in suspense. I went to the portal right now, and unfortunately, and, and uh, you don't know where you are. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, how big, um, is, how big is the chunk? I'm just I'm just curious. How big is the crystal? How big is what? Chunk. Chunk is probably like five feet tall uh, in Goonies. I mean, now he's a lot older. <laughs> now he's probably in his thirties. How big is the chunk of Crystal Shuffle? Shuffle. His thirties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the chunk. The chunk you're on is probably about like uh, three feet by three feet. Say. No, 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 I'm talking about the crystal. The crystal piece. How big is the crystal? Oh, the crystal is nearly the size of the crystal that's in the rod. It's huge. It's 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 far larger than you think it should be. Uh, Finn, you can go. Fiddler. Take the rod and absorb <laughs> the power. 
You're now in the labyrinth, and hands are coming out talking to you. Which way do you want to go? Uh, Up or down? Or down. He said right. down. <laughs> <laughs> do I go again? <laughs> Uh, Arky, what are you doing up top? Okay, so who's left in this area? Just me and Sparky? Is anyone else? It's just you and Sparky and, and nearly a, probably a million of zombies that are all down on one side and on the other side. And this uh, vortex in the middle is still just doing Getting thing. brighter and brighter. Brighter and brighter. And I can't see anything over the sides of the bridge. Well, over the sides of the bridge is the hole where the heart was, and then right past that is all where the zombies are. So down that hole is just black. Right, so I can't Although, see. as you're looking down right now, you see a, little, a, a weird little purple spark very, very far down. <sighs> I, I guess this, this, there's nothing we can do, Sparky. We better get out we of here. We can't give up, we, 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 we came here so far, we can't let him get away. The Red City will be destroyed. Should we jump back down? I thought it seems risky. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, You're in charge now. I'm following you, man. I think we'll have to trust Thistle and Findalar will take care of business on their end. What if I don't trust them? Well, uh, I don't trust them either, but it'll be fine. I trust <laughs> I trust their good intentions. At least in the Lord, maybe. This all I don't know. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Take care of it. I oh, think, remember. I think you have that reversed, man. <laughs> I'm not so I sure. blew that dude up. <laughs> so, which so way are we say? doing? Which portal? The first one they went into? The first one, but it changed. To what? I don't know. It just looks different. It, it looks different than before. It's hard to see what it is. Look. What did it look like when they jumped in? Which one looks closest to what where they- It looked like different shadowy figures, and now it looks like change shadowy figures. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I jump into the first portal. Oh no, my god. Oh dear. <laughs> Wait, so you're- Sparky- Oh my god. Sparky runs like this. He goes, no, I don't like this at all. Then oh he jumps god. into the portal behind you. Oh my god. Oh man. Bravo, so We got sir. three separate parties Bravo. right now. <laughs> three. And you don't trust my judgment? I'm glad, I'm glad to see where we- <laughs> No, no, I trust yo, your hey, judgment. Yo, hey, yo, you don't trust my judgment, bro? Bro, you don't trust my judgment, bro? No, no, this it was your motives I don't always trust. Your judgment, I think, is sound. My motives? Wait a second, <laughs> my motives? <laughs> my motives? And Fiddler is the reverse, I think. That beard is so trustworthy, look at it. <laughs> it's the beard of a trustworthy man. It is. I didn't used to trust him before, now I do for some reason. Today, I'm like, <laughs> Vinny Bro, I, I 2020. Feel like, I feel like Thistle has, like, after months and months of adventuring, has gotten old enough to grow his first beard. His first beard. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let's go, let's go to the chat and see what people are saying right now. Um, oh, I haven't been there in a while. <laughs> Jackie man. says there's going to be plenty of memes. Jackie, I'm very excited. Jackie's been, show has been doing some uh, memes of the episode without context. Uh, and they're all they're always awesome. So you're doing a great job, and I can't see what it is later. Uh, Lauren Hicks loves that we did Labyrinth. Ani says down is really the only option at this point. Lauren Hicks says I'm just doing my job, I'm just doing my job. Marlon Johnson, I said that a while ago, absorb the crystal. So Marlon Johnson thinks Dina says start throwing zombies into the vortex. Percival says the hole where the heart was. Damn that deep. Uh, Jackie says throw a zombie down there. Scott Weber says uh, that's the long you described it. Okay. Um, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Scott Weber, thank you for firing the stars. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, appreciate you. that. Scott. Scott Walter, what's going on? This group owns the owns the patent on Zombie Pult. Uh, Martin Laurie says, "Spark, Sparky, cast Thunder Wave on the Vortex." Is that what you want to do? Because you're about to run out, guys. If you want, if you want Sparky to do something else instead of follow Arky out, say it right now. You have seconds. Marlon Jonathan says, "No, keep trying. I want you to stay." Jackie says, "Leroy, one more time." Um, uh -huh. Dina says, split the party, split the party. Uh, Dina says, probably for where's Jacques? No one knows where Jacques is. No one has gone to search for him or do anything. Uh, Marlon Johnson, uh, Brooke, had, Brooke had the chance to actually, actually give a damn and look for Jacques, but she was like, nah, peace, bro. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, Brooke, too late. Too little, too late. Um, you'll see why. Percival says, can we get aggro Italian Tony every week? Absolutely. 
<laughs> um, Dolores Davis says, you guys are on fire tonight. I'm loving it. Thank you, Hi. Dolores. Please, please don't murder me. Our <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> shooter says, love says, the, the lugabrociousness of an animosity is dreadfully poetic in its hubris. It starts picking his nose. <laughs> um, if he said, if he said the, the luxurious of animosity is dreadfully poetic in its hubris. That's what he says wherever you guys show up. Um, and, oh, T Tim Shank says uh, Vinnie Pearl has his beard starter kit. And... <laughs> 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 Mark says, "Call the collector to destroy the crystal." Oh, he's right. That's interesting. <clears throat> Gee, that last one. Mark says, "Call the collector to destroy the crystal," and that is it. Uh, we're up to up to a current. Um, okay, Arky went through. Guys, only Martin is saying for Vortex. No one else is commented on uh, Sparky yet. Um, Sparky split the party again. Only Martin is saying through. If someone else gets, says to stay, I'll let him stay. But you have no other votes. Um, okay, we are going to go now to the party, the portal. It doesn't really sound that terrifying. A portal party? I mean... A portal party. <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh my god, is this a portal party? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it, could be, it could be. Okay, you guys walk through the portal. And you come out and you're in this, this large throne room. It is, it is giant size. It's probably... So imagine the sto the floor is immaculate. All these stone blocks. It's like this uh, yellowish clay color. Um, and the room is the equivalent of being as high as probably about... Um, I would say five stories. Um, there are all different statues. And all the statues on the side are of these wizards. And the wizards are all sitting there. Um, no, no, not, not sitting there. You know, they're just, just sitting, there are statues in different poses. Um... Jackie says, let Sparky go with Arky. Uh, Sparky goes with Arky. Okay, Sparky went in with Arky Fim. Uh, we're now going to roll to see which one Rob got. Do you guys see the picture? Do you guys see the um, the die? No. Uh, no. No. I see paper. Oh, there it is. Four. Here we go. If I, roll, if I roll a one or a two, you go into the first portal with them. Ooh. Down. Down. No. No, oh, no. Mm. We're off. Reroll? <laughs> I don't know, yes, maybe. Man. Maybe we went to that nice relaxing forest. Uh, if you want if you want to reroll it. We'll if you happy. want to reroll it, you can reroll it. Is that what you want? Yeah, reroll it. Rob, you keep track? All right, we're re-rolling it. Do you see the die? Over. No. We see the 10. The left. I say, yeah, we see the D10. You have to go down. I'm down to four no, re-rolls. Yeah, you're other, other down. That way, yeah. That one there under your... Yeah, no, I can't see it. Your finger's blocking it. <laughs> My God, the suspense. <laughs> it's a five. No, I didn't roll, I didn't roll yet. Here we go. Oh, oh son of a... Okay. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a it's a mighty, it's a one. Yes. Oh, All thank right. God. Thank the gods. Okay, so you guys, you guys up here start looking around. Everyone seems very confused. And uh, a lump, a lump starts, a lump goes in and starts saying that uh, the whole uh, uh, the speech he just made and p p picking his nose. <laughs> and all of a sudden you see uh, Arky run in uh, like um, around six seconds to 12 seconds later. And um, runs through, and you guys are all just looking around this huge throne room. Now, on one side of this of this room, it's all open, and it's all open to like this uh, beautiful looking like harbor. And it's in in this harbor are all these ships with yellow sails. Um, oh my god! Oh, you know where you are. So <laughs> below below you below you you basically see the whole the whole city. And the city has all these buildings that half look like they're magical and, and shaped in interesting ways. Um, you get the sense of like magic immediately. Um, sitting across the whole entire room, which literally is going to take you probably a minute to walk up to, is a wizard sitting in a chair. Oh no! Just sitting, just sitting there. He's sitting there by himself. Does he look like a nice guy? 
<laughs> uh, he, he's too far away to see if he looks nice. Okay. Does he have a giant smiley emoji above him? Or is he Oh, smiling? you can't tell. There's All right, no so emojis it right now. Okay. <clears throat> can can um, Lump Mind message him? Don't ask me about what Lump can do. Ask Lump to do that if you oh, want. Lump. Yeah. Can you mind message this wizard? Why <laughs> don't we just go talk to him? I don't think uh, uh, my character would know where I think we are. Because <laughs> I just want to hear Lump mind message. That's just my goal every episode from here on what, in. What, what Lump say? Lump, I would like you to ask him where we are. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm... Oh my god. This is friggin' epic. Where are we? <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Where are we? Oh, he already said it, Brooke. He totally already said it. You, you, you see him look at the wizard. Me, me say. He no respond. Thank you, Lump. Oh, yeah. Does anyone... When you say that the that this room is open to the harbor, is that by design or because something by design down the wall? It is okay. And like, and like goes to this beautiful balcony that you, that you can see the entire harbor and you see like half the city. So you must be the center of the city. Okay, I'm looking it, at the harbor side. This is not a city oh, that Reed has ever seen. I'm assuming. Uh, that Reed has never seen. No. Uh, but in a few seconds, out of game, you're about to find out. Well, the other people will know. You you may not uh, where you guys are. Oh, okay. um, you guys, what are you guys? What are you guys walking to? Are you just standing there? Are you walking to the uh, person in the throne? I think we should go. Let's let's leave. Where are we going? Yo, does, what city is this? Does anyone know? Go out towards uh, the city. Are we going out towards the city? I don't know. What? But. No wait, we see we see ships in the harbor. Yeah. Do we recognize? Wasn't it? Uh, <clears throat> isn't it? Isn't it like you know the queen who has all the ships? Isn't it? Wasn't there something Actually, about that? Do we, so you guys take take twenty five experience points, girl. You know the queen's ships are have yellow sails. I thought we knew that. Awesome. Nice job, Scrow. Uh, but if we're if we're here, then. We're we're in enemy territory right now. This is this is, this is terrible. Oh should we? My God. Should we just you, sprint? You said that in character. Yeah. Are we got? Are Where we... exactly are you talking? I, I I'm not sure, but if this is the queen's forces, then uh, we we you know we're, this is this is not good. This is this is terrible. Who we have to get is out just to remind you, you do see there uh, there are statues of wizards everywhere on the, on the sides. Ben oh, knows man. where you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, oh, I do. Should we? This, we've uh, we've of... seen this throne room before, I think. Have I seen it before, Baltorius? So, uh, I think. Wait, wait, wait. We were about Tom's to not there. How we about, about to there? How about there? Weren't we? Okay. You don't know which we. I mean. Mm. Well, I mean, me I mean us. We were w at one point gonna walk down it weren't we and then like we got taken out of somewhere i don't know okay that was it well i'm not gonna say um okay I don't think so we were you guys before. we're gonna go back down to arky and uh Findlar, who are falling at great speeds and thistle uh thistle so i'm sorry sorry that, that was incorrect thistle and uh Findlar. uh what do you guys want to do how far away from he and how far away from i is he you will how far away from uh how far away are we proper i i wasn't uh, you <laughs> i so, love it Finn. i love it you're about uh no you don't you're you're about 15 feet away okay i cast a wall of force underneath us uh it doesn't have to attach itself to anything it can be free floating uh it's gonna hurt yeah i was just gonna say like you're that you're gonna take oh you do it yeah, uh, you're gonna take maximum fall damage. Well, you will. Okay. Vin is well. No, Vin's not flying right now. Vin is just is just in the, oh, the thing right now. I thought it was flying next to it. Aren't you keeping speed with it? I am keeping. Are you speed. trying to fall down to it? Oh, correct. Okay, right. so Tom, Tom, you're gonna take maximum fall damage. 
Um, I think it's 10d6. Right. Forget. It's either 66 or 10d6. I know. Uh, if anyone knows on it, let me know. Oh my god. Um, we need to do the 66. That sounds better. I think. I'll tell you what, I'll split the difference. Go to 8. Here we go. Oh, okay. Just times it. Uh, times, 8 times 4. 8, 6, 20, 32. 32 damage. Ooh. Ooh. You, sl you slam into the uh, thing. We have to roll crushing damage also, too. For the heart. <laughs> Uh, roll, roll two dex checks. Fifteen each. Everyone you fail is gonna be, um, 5d6, I guess, each. Oh, what? Uh, Am I doing the same thing, Tony? Yeah, yeah, we'll do you in a second. Okay. That's one fail. Scott Weber says it's, it's, Scott Weber says it's ten, so hold on, you take additional, um, sixteen damage from that first one. Ooh. No, I'm sorry. Eight, 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 eight. I'm trying, I'm trying yeah, to roll. Okay. Take additional eight. Okay, and I fail one. Uh, one of the two decks. Times five. Roll I rolled a time. one. I rolled a one, so you only took five damage from the second, from the crush. All right. Okay. Um, Thanks, Dan. Vin, uh, Vin, you're just gonna half your damage. Uh, I rolled a one. I took forty. So you only took. Damage. Vin, you take eight. You take eight damage. And then roll two two deck checks to get out of the way of the 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 heart falling on top of you. Uh, the first one is a eighteen. Make it. And the second one is a seventeen. And you make it. Okay, so you, you you get away with not taking that much damage at all. How much? You take eight total? total. Eight total. Eight total. <laughs> okay, you got. You, Something like 45 <coughs> eight. All right, we're on a hundred. We're on a ten. Uh, we're on a hundred feet. Uh, platform. Actually, hundred foot square platform. Would the slope would slow fall help me at all? <laughs> you're you're already slow falling. Oh yeah, it's true. Some already you you already got it. All right. Okay, so what do you guys? You guys are like groaning in pain. Tom, Tom is wounded pretty bad. Um, is the heart? Tom, you definitely feel you, you, you definitely feel like you probably bruised your ribs, Tom, from the from the from the stop. Mm. Uh, role play, guys. I well, last thing I heard Finn say was to smash it with the staff or to absorb it with the staff. I really don't like this idea, but the rod. Because if yeah. I when I try to absorb the uh, crystal with the staff. Oh wow! Yeah, I agree. I don't, okay. I don't... Okay, you do so. You put the crystal into it. Uh, you see the whole thing starts going purple and glowing. It goes very, very bright, and all of a sudden it explodes. All you see is purple for a good like four or five seconds, and all of a sudden you see the crystal inside the uh, the rod is now a mix of amber. And purple. I know it. I friggin' know it. Wow. Wow. I know it. I know it. I absolutely know it. You knew what? Not to do that. Well, y you could have not listened to me. Oh, I'm taking you. I if you didn't want to do it. No, I'm not. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just saying I knew it. That's all. Uh, that's <laughs> it. Look, there's a chance. <coughs> there's a chance that we might be able to save the souls that he took on this way. I think if we just destroyed the phylactery and destroy his power, uh, we may not have a chance to regain all of the souls that that he. Uh, that he absorbed to, to power himself. I don't know, but I, I didn't think, uh, I don't know. I, I thought it would be better served for us to try and save those souls and then just let them be destroyed. I I, I don't know what happened here, but I, I don't think mixing those yeah, I don't, is probably good. I mean, from the looks of it, how the hell are we getting out of here? Well, I, I, I don't know. I stopped our too, fall. I can fly up still, but I, I can't carry you. 
How long does this, this invisible thing underneath us last? Uh, ten minutes or so. <laughs> I, um... um... In the meantime, I dig into my, my belt pouch, and I give him the two healing pots I have. Okay. And I... Here you go. Okay, we're, we're going back uh, up to, to uh, the, the group in the um, the throne room. Are you guys making your way towards the throne room? Are you guys oh. walking in a different direction? Are you... We're in the throne room. Away. There's nobody in it but a wizard sitting kind of far away. And... Yeah, as of right now, you don't, see, you don't see anybody other. You just see the wizard all the way on the other side sitting there. He's very far away, a couple hundred feet. A couple hundred. I think we should get out of here. Yeah. Who recognizes it, it these looks, it looks like this room is like for a, like a great huge gathering. Are those like it's not queen's... like it's not like a small one. Sorry, guys, Steve. Are those the queen's forces or no? I think so. They are. Do I see any moving towers? Very large moving towers. Anything? <laughs> as, very good. Take take twenty five experience points. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll add as, to as you look out, as you look into to the harbor. Uh, you see, it, in the the water in the bay, is the walking tower. Oh. I go right up to the edge. Uh, just, it's not the red city. Is the, it's not the red city? I'm assuming. No, it's it's okay. It's Solst. It's the walking tower of Solst. Solst. <clears throat> Solst is is the the arch mages uh, uh, city. <laughs> it, it is known it is known to be the size of like a New York City. Um, probably almost as big as a red city and everyone here has magic to some degree so the normal commoner has uh, a bit of magic like a first level spell and zero level spells maybe sure. and their forces are like highly trained wizards going up to the highest levels even ones that are trained with um, uh, fighting and magic um, just the throne is like level 5000 oh my god he's so powerful uh, and, and just to tell you something else this is this is an out of game moment uh, so Taylor, uh, the queen, for everyone who knows her um, in uh, in game, um, Taylor has gone, gone come to Solst on different missions, literally four different times in a matter of two years, two years in real life. She's gone to Solst about four times. Every single time they have gone, every mission has failed miserably. Someone, either all the party died, some of the party died, or something really bad happened. And maybe this will be the first time, I don't know, but it has never gone well during the heart of the Archmages, uh, one, one of his one of his cities, because there are other, other cities too, but this is the one in the area uh, that is between the Elven realm, if you guys check out the map. And for those of you on Patreon, go to Patreon and you'll see a video exactly on this, actually, coincidentally, where it tells you exactly where everything is on the map and you can see where it is. Right between the Elven realm and right between the Red City is Souls with the Walking Tower. So Patreon is uh, patreon.com slash audio dungeon, and uh, there should be links in the, in the chat for it. But it is um, right in the Red Knight's back uh, door, pretty much. What do you guys want to do? We are in Solst. So the Red Knight's back door, you said. That okay. wizard, who is that? And are they what I think they are, uh, indicating the statues? They, I... Wood. Uh, the statues are of all different wizards. You're not sure what they are. I don't know what you're thinking. That, that's all right. Arch... Neither do I. This is called improv. Let's go. <laughs> is that the archmage <laughs> sitting over there? No, it can't be. Sin. It, it can't be that simple. First off, uh, take a look back. Is that portal still there? The one that we came uh, through? You see there's an archway there, and the portal seems to be like shimmering there. There's something there. It doesn't quite look like where you left, though. Uh, it's kind of hard can to see I, through. Can I see what it is? Brooke, you can see through, and it's not where you left. What is it? It seems to be like another kingdom, another, um, like a city. Or it could be the same city in the streets. You, you really can't tell. Do you guys want to go through the portal again? <laughs> What's, what, 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 what is there? All I see is yes. shimmering. Oh, it's just, it's just the, it looks like another city, another, another place. Anywhere but here seems like the right answer. Oh no, this is exactly where I want to be. <laughs> yeah, we uh, do it. All right. Okay. Um, then, fluff, oh, uh, 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 Fluffles, go see something about that wizard. See if you're noticing anything of a particular evil nature. And if so, 
gauge whether or not you can take care of it. Our mission here was to take care of the necromancer, if I'm not so certain. So, this is not where the necromancer is. Other evil lives here, and that may happen another day. But our friend, your friends, lie through that portal. Back there, behind us. Another kingdom or not. So my thinking is this. Whatever it is that that archway leads to is not going to lead us back to your friends. Wait till it shifts again. You there, you. What? what what's your name? Pointing to Brooke's character. Abyssia. Abyssia. You were able to see what is through the portals before I walked through. You gave me guidance. Are these going to change again? They're going to change. Does it change again, Tony? Do I, do I know uh, the going to change? The, portals, the portal feels like it is going to keep changing, yeah. Okay. Yes, it's about to change again, Reed. All right. Well, let's wait. Let's see if it's going to get back. This is no time to let your friends go behind. And no assault against this Archmage's kingdom or the Queen's hold is going to lead is going to lead us any kind of profit. We came here to take care of that damnable necromancer. Let us go back through. Let us get your friends. Do what is necessary. Locate the necromancer and take care of this once and for all. Okay. So what do you guys do? Yeah, all right. Let's let us know yes. when this portal switches to something good, Abyssia. Okay, I'm paying attention to the portal. I think we should move closer to it. How far <laughs> is it away, actually? Yeah, it can't be that far. We just came out of it. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually. <laughs> move we get close to it. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not that far off. Um, guys, thank you for 500 bits from Twitch. Uh, guys, Todd, let me know who it came from. And uh, thank you very much for the contribution. Thank you, thank you man. Um, so you guys are standing there looking at the portal and not really doing much else and all of a sudden you hear oh damn and it. all of a sudden you, you you see these wizards with swords uh of like literally made of like some sort of light they have in their hands and they're all around you and it's about 12 of them in an instant we have no idea where they came from they just appeared <laughs> raise that sword <laughs> oh, oh my god can we through run the into portal. the portal? Die through the portal. Yeah, we die for the portal. Yeah, I need to know if somebody goes diving through that portal. I I'm just asked like, if it was right. close enough. <laughs> you guys start you, you guys move to the portal and you see the portal go and disappear. And the person we'll we'll say we'll say um who's running to the portal? It's not gonna affect you. Just say who it is. Uh, uh, da Damien. Yeah. So Damien Torius runs to the portal really quick, and then you just walk through that archway and you're still there in the same room. And you're like, oh no, I missed it. Oh no. You hear a voice all of a sudden. It's like, hello. Why not come and see me? And it yeah, echoes. Sleeping. Oh, going back to um, going back to uh, Findalar and Thistle. What are you guys doing? Um. All right. So Finn, Finn, how are we getting out of here? I mean, I can fly up still, but. I don't know how much longer I have left on the spell, because it's been quite a bit. Uh man, I don't know. Uh, how when I look up, can I see anything about where we fell from? Is like no. Give me no. A... You look up. You you look up and you see black. Well, is, is your arcane gate still active? Uh yeah, no, no, not anymore. Oh, jeez. And even if it was, that only get us to a certain point. We'd have to fly up to get to that, and then we'd, we'd still be below where we need to get to. I can catch fly one more time. Well. I can get you out. Well, what about you? I mean, you, you put it on yourself. I don't think I can carry you, man. I, I, I don't know. I think I can carry you at the best of times, and I'm really, I'm really not feeling too great right now. I could try it. Well, I gave what you the, two, what healing. two healing things do for you, Finn? I gave you two healing things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, the eight? I don't know. It doesn't say. Tony, any idea? Uh, what, it's probably one D8 plus your constitution we've been doing. Alright. Um, well, guys good. at home, that's if you're good. on Twitch, 
uh, start following the stream so you can get us. We're live every 8.30 p.m. on Wednesdays, uh, Eastern Standard Time. We're live every week. Please take a second. It really helps the, the, the channel out. And we appreciate you guys watching. And please, um, you know, follow the stream. If you're on Facebook, you're on YouTube, do the same thing. Like, subscribe, and follow. It really, really helps us. We appreciate it. You just take a second out and, and um, click that bell and click follow. All right. Uh, how, what, how, what'd you roll, Tom? Uh, I rolled a I rolled an eight and a one, so I got thirteen back. My uh, with, okay. with my customers' quarters. Okay, um, so you're you're, you're so, feeling you're feeling better. Your, your ribs still hurt, but you're feeling better. All right, uh, Thistle, how much do you weigh? Roughly, <coughs> like, like forty-five pounds, maybe fifty. All right, look, tie yourself to me. I'll cast fly. We'll see how high up we can get. But I can still fly for now, I think. So, you know. But you can't carry me. I know, but like you tried okay. it, we slowed down. So yeah, but we'll try. We'll see how far up we can get. And if we don't, we don't. And. uh... I don't know. I uh, I tie myself off to Findalar. <laughs> okay, and you guys begin to fly. And yeah, and I, uh, yeah. I do I begin to fly? Okay, flying yeah. lasts for ten minutes, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you fly up. Um, one minute, two minute, three minute. I'm sure four. mine you off by at this point. Yeah. Like four or five minutes. You you greatly slow down. You get to like the eight minute mark, nine minutes, and around nine minute and change, you get to the top. You get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I still have my rope hanging over the edge, don't forget. Oh my god. Oh yeah, so you see his rope there. <laughs> yeah, I fly towards the rope as we go. As we like, okay. grab the rope, anything to you relieve get, the weight. You get to the top, you see the vortex is uh, gone is no longer in the center of, of the room anymore. Um, in its place is a giant column of light. The same column that was there before, and it's the same one that if you look that way, ne next to me, this way, you see, you see it's right there. That column is relit, and you see all the zombies are rushing towards the light to go up it, and then they're kind of like floating through it. Okay. Um, is that because the the crystal is still in the rod? I, I don't what the know. hell do we do now? Uh, um, oh my god! So you're you're unable to see if the vortex is within it, uh, but if uh, in its place and larger than the vortex is that column of light that's going up. How, how do we how do we stop this? Um, I don't know. Um, where where is the the light originating from? <laughs> right where it looks like right where the uh, the portal is. Right where the vortex was. And the vortex is gone. You saying? Mm-hmm. And zombies are they up are... on the ledge with me? Are they in a ledge with you? Say again. Where, where are they right now? Oh, they. they, they oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hogar. I'm forgetting that you're standing right there. So you, you, you guys, they come up right next to you, Hogar. You're standing there with them. Okay. But guys, we'll play with Hogar. Oh, Hogar, how long has that portal been up? Uh, uh, just a few minutes now. The, the the vortex went away, and then the light came back. And the zombies are just, the zombies are pouring into it and flying up still. Yeah, That's just been like happening. they were before. Where, where Everybody the left. I killed the necromancer. Oh, good. We uh, we found the the phylactery that held his power and we absorbed it into the rod, which I told this little do, but may not have been the right thing. Well, all right, we can figure it out, I guess. Everyone else went through the portal over there. Portal number one. What do you mean they went through the portal? Why would they go? Th why would they go through one of the portals? Because the vortex was getting bigger and bigger, and it was, looked like it was going to explode or something, or things were going to come out of it, or evil power. 
So I told them to go through portal number one to get out of here. And I waited for you and Thistle. Well, I appreciate... I appreciate that part, but why would you tell them to go through a portal that they can't even see where that portal goes? Abyssia what could was in see. there? There was oh, a she throne. Saying? So wait, because you saw a throne, you went through the portal? Yes. I thought it was a throne that needed to be destroyed to destroy the necromancer. But the necromancer's throne is right there. And I pushed the throne. (laughs) (laughs) And you killed him already. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what what portal to go through. <laughs> oh, no, no portals. No one should have gone through any portals. Classic Ogar. We, we, you're we welcome. Should have stayed Finn. here. No, you're welcome. You. That's all. Goodbye. I leave no, him and no, walk away no, for the no, portals. Hogar. Don't no, talk. No, 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 no. I didn't do anywhere. Goodbye. Ogar, please I'm come back. I'm not going into the portal. Oh, well, you just saying, I don't know. You're a very I'm literal person. I'm just walking person. away from, from them. No, look, All right, so, I'm not so, blaming oh, I'm not blaming you for it. I'm what just, I'm not are blaming we you. doing So, So the now. light, the light okay, hold on, let's think about this real fast. The light recharged the crystal a lot in the rod, right? The light recharged the crystal in the rod, which was a good right. thing. Because we absorbed the soul right. of the dead, I assume. Right? Yes, maybe? I'm, I think so. I think, I think so. Maybe? All right. right. Now we went down there and we absorbed the crystal of the necromancer, which probably wasn't a good thing because now the crystal's kind of like purple and amber and it's all sorts of different colors. Right. So if we use the rod on the the, the vortex or whatever the hell that thing is, is it going to amplify it? Is it going to stop it? Is it going to try to absorb it more? What do you? What do we do? I, I don't know. Uh, okay, when you when when you put the rod in to that the first time, it didn't turn the rod purple. It turned no. the rod more powerful amber, right? Because I'm assuming because that's the souls of the dead people that it reabsorbed, or the light the light of the dead people it reabsorbed. But now, so, so now we absorb the necromancer's phylacrity into that. Are we charging up the necromancer? Are we charging up the rod? Are we charging up the portal? What are we doing at this point? Well, if it's amber, then get some more amber into the rod. It's not, it's not. Why not? Well, what color is the light? Is it white or is it amber? What, what is it? In the rod, it's a mixing of amber and that uh, well, purple color. The, 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 the beam. Amber. The beam is amber? Amber. All right. How charged up is the rod? Because I, I assume I used it twice, so... The rod looks extremely charged. Um, I mean, it feels like the rod is still pretty full. I don't know if we should be charging it anymore. I don't know what could happen. I don't know how much this thing can hold. So then... why don't you crack right underneath the portal, see if we can just break it. The rod? Yeah, no, it's a, break the rod. Break the portal. What's underneath the, the portal? portal. What, what, where's the light coming out of? Like, just describe it to me one more time. I'm sorry. The light's coming out of the what? area where the, vort- the vortex is or was. You can't see it. But is it so there's nothing light? underneath it that's solid. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. It, like, you're, it, solid? You're, thinking, you're thinking that the, the light is simply coming from the vortex. The vortex was getting lighter and brighter and brighter before, and it kicked up the light again, and the light's going forward. It looks like you're just seeing it for the first time that the, how the light is working. You know, what triggered it, you don't know. So you want me to hit the vortex with the rod? Nah, nah. That, that on second thought, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um. All right. I know. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Fate of the world. That's all. Got it. I'm, I'm literally. God, I'm at like total crossroads of what I want to do here. I'm gonna. Are we all? Go ahead. 
Where's the body of the necromancer? Uh, crumbled in pieces by uh, his altar in front of those portals. How long have we been down here, Tony? <clears throat> since, since since you flew down into this layer, that like no, this, this like, bottom since layer we came under, down. Since we came under to the hell temple altogether. Yeah. Oh, since we've got to hell in, on, in this trip. Yeah. Yeah, this whole uh, trip. How long has it been since we left? You are probably up to probably three quarters of a day. All right. I'll take a, I'll take a crack at it. Because yesterday, I guess. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's been twenty four hours or not. I mean, character wouldn't know. I guess he's lost track of time that much. But he's gonna try and use the ring of Andaria again to ask the world a yes or no question for guidance. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But he's gonna try it. Okay. Andoria. It is I, Fiddler Locked On, wizard who makes many mistakes. If we try and stick uh, the rod into the uh, portal of, of, of light in front of us, will it increase the necromancer's power or increase the rod's power to fight the necromancer? Oh. That's not a yes or no question. Will it increase the necromancer's power? No answer. All right. I tried, guys. I got nothing. All right. So I I break out the rod, and I want to reach into the rod and see what the hell's going on. See if I can try to, like, see what's going on in there. Reach into the rod? Yeah, like I want like to metaphysically like, reach? No, like um like Luke Skywalker reach? Reach out with your feelings, Luke. Yes, yes, kind of. Like I, I kinda of wanna like I wanna try to see if I can make contact with something in the rod. See if it's alabaster. Um I'm gonna say right now you're in no mental state to do that. So you're trying to do it and you can't get any kind of clarity of thought. Okay. So un unsuccessful. Alright. Time sticking. If this will, if you want me to make this decision, I will. If you want to give me the rod, give me the rod. Yeah, well, it's not working for me, so maybe it'll work for you. And I, I, I hand the rod. Nice. Hogar, what are you doing? This will. I'm placing the rod into the light in the portal. Oh my god. You guys stand back. I don't, oh, I don't like this. I believe in you, Hogar. I stand back, okay? All right. All right. I walk up to the. Uh, I walk up to the portal of light. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. All right. I hope you're with me, Collector, and Alabaster. I place the rod into the light. All right. Uh, Tony, right before he does, right before he does, I just, I have an ability, I want to cast Lightning Rod, so if he takes magical damage, I'm drawing that magical damage to me. Okay, you cast a spell at the same time. Ogar, you put the rod into the, uh, the light. Um, I'm gonna tell you two things. Uh, one, the second that you put it into the light, flying out of where you think the vortex is, is Jacques and a uh, bald-headed monk, who you believe is Master Lane, and go flying out. And they fall, they fall on the ground, and they're like sh shaking on the ground, and you see Jacques, um, it's almost like Vinny Pro, you know, in like a year after quarantine, has like a, a large beard. Um, and you see Lane is there, and, and they, both look, they both look like, they both look they're just going unconscious. They, both, they said they're, they're both on the ground. That happens. To the side right next to you uh the second thing that happens is when you put the rod into the light you see that the the and the light starts to get very very it gets brighter almost like it's like um like turbo charge and you see everything go brighter and brighter and brighter and all of a sudden per the light goes purple <laughs> it goes flying upwards and that is where we'll stop for tonight guys thank you so much for joining us on audio dungeon <laughs>